Hi guys, this is Matthew Lippard here again. I've got a new uh, video I'm doing right here on some laser engraving. And uh, I'm doing an urn, of all things. Yes, an urn. You know, people laser engrave urns. A uh, cremation is very popular these days. And, and urns come in all different shapes and sizes. And people want uh, something on those urns to memorialize their loved one. So I was asked if I could do those. So I was given a couple of uh, rejects, if you will, a couple of urns with some mistakes on them, and uh, I'm going to do some practicing on it. I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to show you a little bit about what I'm doing and where I'm going with this. Okay, here is the urn I'm using. I've covered up covered up the person's name. Obviously, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to put somebody's name all over YouTube without their permission. But as you can see here, see what they do with the date. They put. Uh, just 39 here instead of 1939 and here they put 2022 it just uh, it's not symmetrical doesn't necessarily look right so they just redid it and made it look right so I'm going to take this and I'm going to turn it on its side and I'm going to do something on the side of it like that <clears throat> I'm just going to make up some stuff uh, some false dates some false names whatever and uh, you know that way nobody's uh, Nobody's personal information is getting out there that uh, they don't want out there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and onto my computer and, and do some stuff in, on uh, Lightburn software. And uh, I'll uh, record all that as well. And then I'll come back when I'm ready to set this up. Hi, guys. I'm back over here. I measured my, um, I measured the urn I'm working on. It's uh, uh, 10 centimeters uh, wide by six centimeters deep and I imported this cross right here so now what I'm going to do is put some text in here um, <clears throat> I'm just going to make up Billy Bob it just works for me uh, I need to move that let me see here that one. Let me move that up here. I'll probably make that a little bit bigger. That's, that's going to be a. All right, let me move the whole thing kind of over to there. Uh, let's come back over here to text again. <clears throat> I'm just going to put January. One nineteen hundred. Then I'll go like this, and then I I'll go to May fifteenth, nineteen eighty-five. That'll look. Now I have to come in here. To I got to move this a little bit, obviously, and I have to make it a little bit smaller. Way too big, way too big, way too big. And now I've got to look at where I'm at size wise for total size. I just kind of center that like that. Now, <clears throat> so what am I looking for my total? I'm starting at about 40. Well, I'm way over them. I'm uh, God, I've got to be to about 100. I'm way too big here. I'm going to have to let me just highlight the whole thing. Then I'll move this and make this whole thing a lot smaller. Then I can zoom in. And then I can move it here a little bit. I'll move it up here to, I'll move right to where I'm at zero. Uh, 140 and zero. <clears throat> I want to be. Uh, that's 100 millimeters, which is 10 centimeters. So I'm going to have to come down to there. Right about there. That's a 100. I don't want to overdo it. 40. I'm at 40 centimeters that way. So I can maybe go a little bit wider there. Now, <coughs> so that puts me, <coughs> excuse me, I'm at zero there. <clears throat> 100 centimeters there. I'm going to make it a little bit short. I don't want to go that close to the edge. I'm going to make it 90 centimeters. Uh, I'm good at my width. I go from 140 
to 180. That's a little less than 180. It's less than 40 centimeters, so I've got some room there. Um, now, let me highlight this and move it out to the middle a little bit so that <clears throat> I can, <clears throat> excuse me, zoom it back in to uh, see what I'm looking at. <clears throat> now, that should do okay there. <clears throat> Everything looks pretty well centered. Uh, looks pretty symmetrical. So I'm just going to kind of uh, uh, get this thing set up to, to do this. I'm going to come over here. I want to do uh, my speed. I want to be higher than that on the speed. Let me see here. I want to be... I'm going to cut the power down to about 70%. I'm going to put the speed uh, at 100 millimeters per second because I don't. I'm not trying to cut it. I'm not. In fact, I'm going to move this back up to 75. <clears throat> so I've got 100 millimeters per second on the speed and 75% power. Okay. Do the same thing with this one. <clears throat> Go back over here. 100 millimeters on the power side. 75 on the <clears throat> speed side or power side so i'm at 100 millimeters per second 75 percent power <clears throat> and i think that should we're going to give that a try and it's either going to burn it too deep or it's not going to burn it deep enough but we'll try to figure it out um now i'm going to go let me see let me highlight this whole thing again and uh I need to get into my cup window. I haven't used this in a while. I'm kind of uh, a little bit perplexed here. Why am I? That's what it's going to look like. <clears throat> Hopefully that comes out okay. I hope all these lines don't show up. We'll see. Um, find out if I made a mistake with that picture or not. Um, I'm missing a screen right here. I don't know. You can say I haven't used this in a while. So uh, I'll figure that out. I'm going to close this out and I'll figure out uh, here in a little bit uh, where I'm at. Okay, I'm back again. I did find some things out. I found this screen here for one. Secondly, I noticed I forgot the comma after this. I was going to end up with a similar mistake to what was on there before. So I went ahead and corrected this, so I had the January 1st, comma, 1900, May 15th, comma, 1985, so they're symmetrical. Also, when I realized I have a, a tape measure I've never used before, I'm not sure what I did with the, my normal tape measure, but it's just weird, and I, I was not reading it right, and this was going to be, like, way too big. Um, it has, my tape measure I normally use has inches on one side and uh, millimeters and centimeters on the other side, so I turned it over just assuming it was millimeters and centimeters not paying attention well it was inches and centimeters on the other side so i was way out anyway i had to re revamp this thing i brought it back to about in fact i'm gonna make this a little bit smaller um it's 255 centimeters or i mean millimeters so i made this right about 240 millimeters so it won't go over uh, but i found the frame button so i'll go ahead and, and close this and uh, then I'll set my camera up and I'll come back over and show you the framing on the urn itself. Um, definitely a mistake on my part, but uh, uh, I guess that's what happens when you uh, uh, take about two months off from playing with this machine. But I'll be right back with the camera set up. Okay, I've got the uh, laser set up right there in the corner of that urn. I have the urn square on my grid. Now I'm going to hit the uh, frame button and see how it frames. That's pretty close. I'm going to change it just a little bit once it. Okay. I'm going to just a little bit. I'm going to try to get it as close as I can so that everything lines up okay.
That looks pretty good right there. So I'm going to get my glasses on and uh, I'm going to hit go. I, let, me, let me reset. I, I, I did some changing and I never went back and rechecked the focus on this thing. Uh, screw me up just a little bit. I just remembered that. I got to reset the focus on this thing. Right now, I'm going to be too far away. So I better do a framing once again. This is the old rule we had in construction. Measure twice, cut once. I think that's pretty, yeah, that's pretty good right there. Okay. Once I get my green light, we're going to hit go. There we go. Let's see how this is going to work. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to like how that cross is going to come out, but we'll see. I think it's going to do all those little lines there. This might be a giant fail, guys. I don't know. We'll see. I may have to sand all of the uh, the clear coat off of that as well. I, I didn't sand anything off. Uh, again, I've never done this before, so I'm just trying something new. Yeah, I don't think that's working. It's just melting the clear coat. Yeah, it's just melting the clear coat. I'm going to have to sand the clear coat off and try again. What's interesting here is it's not even melting the clear coat. It's actually cutting in and burning into the wood under the clear coat. But this is why we practice. That's the clear coat there. So what it's doing is it's burning into the wood under the clear coat. So what I'm going to have to do, of course, I don't know. I have to do some playing around with this. Probably going to have to sand it off. Well, guys, <clears throat> you know, sometimes when we make these videos, they come out really good, and sometimes they're epic, they're epic fails. This was an epic fail. I've got everything set. Now I'm going to have to do some playing around with this, sand this clear coat off, do some different things with this to try to figure out what I can do to make this a little bit better, uh, to make it work. Um, but I'm going to have to get that clear coat off of there. It's, uh, it's Like I say, it's basically just burning the wood under the clear coat. Uh, so I have to get that off of there first and then come back and then I'll have to just uh, put some clear coat back on it And we'll just kind of see what we where we go from there um, If you have any uh, Comments, I'm sure some of you are gonna have some suggestions I, I'm I'm uh, I'm in a learning mode. I'm I'm sure open for suggestions that we can you know, figure out how to do this right, but uh, this is an experience and uh, Well, my office sure stinks now this uh, burning clear coat and burning wood. So uh, uh, look forward to making this work and doing some more playing. And I'll do another video, a uh, part two of this uh, a wooden urn when I get to that point, when I get some things figured out. Uh, until then, I uh, uh, hope you have a, a great day and uh, and happy trails.